Hello, lovely, and welcome to this the second episode of Sophie Raw and Unpolished. So this is what I have been up to this week. I'm going to be sharing with you in today's episode. So this week, we had the excitement of our youngest daughter, Clemence. It was her fifth birthday. Oh, yeah, and this is totally raw and unpolished with loads of noise going on around me. Anyway, it was Clemence's fifth birthday this week, and we had a big party for her. Um, 60 odd people at our house for a pool party and a barbecue, and so I'm going to be sharing about that. Also, one of my best friends here um, is leaving Mauritius and moving back to the UK, and so we had a big leaving party for her. So there's that. And I went to something called Secret Sunset Mauritius, which was something I didn't have a clue what it was about. It was all new and very hard to describe so hopefully the video will um, share a little bit of that with you so enjoy this episode and um, I will catch you at the other end in a little while I'm very upset because it's time to say goodbye to my nice polished toenails and let them have a bit of a breather in flip-flops and sandals. So they're gonna look really ugly for a few weeks. So if you know me and you see me, please ignore my toes for a while. <gasps> sniff, sniff. And now it's time to get my fingernails done. At least these ones are gonna be decorated with nice colors and look all pretty. So before I came to Mauritius, I never bothered getting my nails done because I wasn't really that fussed about it, but here, it's so much more reasonable than in London, surprisingly enough, and, um, and it gets done really, really well, and it's just, it's just a lovely little treat. I love it. And ta-da! A new pretty colour on my nails. <laughs> so what? Uh, we're on a night out for my friend Sophie's leaving to. Um, we're in Roots in Tamarind in Mauritius and just to order dinner, we've got some music with friends, good company, very excited about a night out together. <laughs> The one. <laughs> <laughs> the young one. Beach. I'm at Montreuxy Beach in the north for um, a secret sunset. So something with it's like a silent disco mixed with some kind of like yoga, watching the sun go down. I'm not really sure what to expect. I'm very excited. I've come with my mum and I've come with Lena and a couple of friends and a friend and her daughters. So we will see what that brings and I will share in a little while how that goes. It's a great atmosphere. I'm really enjoying this, but it's very strange doing everything with the headphones on. Clemence's school birthday cake made by grandma. Five in a couple of days. And it's time to wrap Clemence's birthday presents for her fifth birthday. So she's got some old school board games and jigsaws and some outdoor games and this fab little unicorn from a friend of mine. So we're shopping for Clemence's fifth birthday party tomorrow. As you can see, we've got all the essentials for a child's birthday party. Lots of booze for the mums and dads and lots of sweets and biscuits and crisps and things for the kids. Sugar pie, yay! Honey, 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 honey,
It's a little bit of self-tattooing at the end of the fifth birthday party. Now that the tattoos have left over, the kids have gone home, it's time to, you know, abuse our body. <laughs> I am absolutely wiped out. We celebrated our youngest daughter Clemence's fifth birthday today. We had 60 friends over for a house party, barbecue and pool party. It went on for about seven hours. That was pretty much half adults, half kids. It's been absolutely fantastic, but the house is an absolute bomb site, even though we've tidied it up a fair amount. And I look a mess and I feel a mess and I am absolutely ready to collapse now. But um, it was such a fun day. Clemos had an amazing time and I'm just very, very, very grateful for the amazing friends that we've got, both um, adults and kids. And I'm very, very grateful for Ben and everything that he did to make it an incredible day as well. But now it's time to collapse. I'm gonna have a sausage sandwich after Clemence's fifth birthday party. Just listening to Moana, keeping the uh, theme going. Fab, oh yeah, and a cheeky glass of wine. It's Tuesday afternoon and I'm at the local sports centre while Clemence is having her gymnastics lesson. So it's not too bad of you behind me for just chilling out while she goes through her lesson. To Clemence's big party, it is time to recycle all the beer cans and the mixer bottles and everything. So I bring them here to the recycling place at one of the local supermarkets. Not everyone recycles yet, but little by little people are beginning to change. So now I feel like a right raging alcoholic because I had a box of 60 or more um, empty beer cans to throw in the recycling bin and this woman rocked up while I was there with like what, <laughs> two cans of beer and I'm literally throwing can after can after can into the recycling, ca into the recycling bin like, hi, embarrassing, but all for a good cause. One of my best friends here has a four month old baby and he is really struggling to take the bottle. And so I promised her that I would give it a shot because I used to be a childminder when we lived in London. So he is spending the day with us today and we are working on operation, get him to take a bottle. My mum is here at the moment and her and Lena have been making homemade toffee this afternoon. Look. How yummy that looks. This is what we used to have for bonfire night on the 5th of November in the UK when we were little. So good, but it really, really sticks into your teeth. I hope you liked this episode. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything coming up. There is a red subscribe button underneath the video on the YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, then that means you get to have all my videos in your inbox as and when they come out. So you don't really wanna be missing that, do you? Anyway, I hope you have a good week and I look forward to seeing you next week in episode three. Bye-bye.